second technique we're going to try today is called the laid sword. Remember, in our first video, the sword is the hand. And the purpose of the sword, of course, is that once you block your opponent's step to right punch, you're going to place that sword right there in that same area of the neck, brought it on the right side and left side, different techniques will go to the right and to the left. The purpose, again, is to hit that neck, take that person out, knock them out. And your opponent's going to throw what's called the right step through punch. They're going to throw a punch. Your purpose is, of course, to get into a right neutral and block that punch. And remember, the blocking hand should only go as far as we consider our root protection. And that is what, right there, right at the point of our protection. The reason why we don't stand here, as opposed to taking the punch straight on, is because we have no balance. We are pretending the target. But from what's called the neutral position, the right and left neutral, in this case, the right neutral, you narrow the ability of your opponent hitting the targets, and also to give you a better position, um, structure-wise or stability-wise, to be able to hit that, hit that punch, and also offer a defensive response to your opponent. So in this case, what you would do, you throw that right punch and step into a right neutral, throw an inward block, and you would meet that, that punch, and you would draw back to what's called a cat, in terms of cat, they should go into really just flick a kick into your opponent's groin, which of course will cause your opponent to go down. And while your hand on the 10 o'clock position is blocking any potential offensive strike to you, you can block it. When the foot lands, your hand also lands with the torque and the power to render your opponent and neutralize your opponent at that particular time. So it looks something like this. The first throw is a punch. You go back into the right neutral. Then we're blocked. When you go back to your cat, your hand is not going to be used to block this left hand, used to block any potential blow. When you go back to a cat stand, and some would say you could have this hand up here, the sword up in here. So when you kick, your foot lands, the hand lands at the same time, that torque actually brings more power into your punch. Always have that hand ready, the left hand, as a means of defense in case a person attempts to throw a particular blow. Looks up like this. So you throw a punch. Go back into right neutral, cat stand, your left hand is up to guard against any potential blow. You kick, foot lands, hand lands at the same time, and that is the technique.